Hello, it's Dominique. Today I want to share with you a project I just finished. Uh, I used uh, Tim Holtz uh, Wallflower Paper Collection. I had bought this one uh, last year or two years ago. I had made uh, Christmas, uh, not Christmas cards, but Christmas gifts to all my friends. And uh, I had so much left. Uh, I don't know if you remember, I have made this little album here, which is a four and quarter by four quarter pages. If you want to see that one, there's a a video I made of chair, a share, and then there will be a uh, tutorial pretty soon. And I still had leftovers, so I had made this one with some scraps I had, but I still had quite a bit. So I decided to make a kind of a junk journal, but it ended up me being uh, very nice. <laughs> it was my, it's my first one, by the way, so I was not too. Uh, I didn't have too many expectations, but it ended up being really nice. So I want to share with you what I've done here. Uh, also, I have a tutorial coming later uh, because I might be giving a class sometime soon. So after the class, I'll be putting the tutorial online on YouTube. <clears throat> this project here, I have not used uh, chipboard to make it because I didn't want to make like a book. I just wanted to make a junk journal. It has to be soft and can take more stuff in it. So. What I've done is I've used one of these sheets. These are the Paper Studio cardstock. Um, this is the, uh, it doesn't say how much was the weight of it, but it's, it's pretty sturdy. So I decided to use that and matted on both sides. And because I used wet glue all over, it makes everything really, really sturdy. Uh, so I'm going to show you what it uh, did. So here I put little pen just because I had bought those and I thought they were really cute. I matted this side with a little scrap of paper, probably something like this. And this is burlap they had on them. So that's cute, just decorative. Here's a doily, some paper from Paper Studio I had bought at uh, <clears throat> Hobby Lobby the other day. This spine is made out of burlap, printed burlap. And I put some um, nice lace and a row of bling. So the way it goes, so there are three signatures as you can see here. So there's one here, one here, and one here. So three signature sections, which are, are kind of sewn onto the, uh, the, the spine. <clears throat> so the first page, because I was trying to use up all my scraps, uh, that's why there's so many in there. So there's a little belly band with uh, this um, decoration on top. I had this little, uh, those cards here, three by fours. I cut everything I had left, and also I have uh, some that are by themselves like this, just like the 3 by 3s I have some books as well, because I kept two cards and just folded them. This one I'm putting uh, backwards because I like the image of the back better. And I just punch those and then put some uh, raffia. So this goes in there, these three cards there. And if it's, it gets too thick, they can remove one and put it wherever. So I just did that one. So yeah, the thing is that I wanted to make just a junk journal and not much, but I, I ended up using all my scraps, so I, uh, I made a lot of uh, interactions. So it's kind of middle between junk journal and scrapbook album, because I can still put photos or write things or put glue a little piece of paper or something. And this here, I uh, have not hidden my magnets, because I have some <coughs> a punch I want to use with a little flower or a little heart. Want just to glue that on there, and I didn't have, I didn't bring it to my with uh, my summer house, so <clears throat> I'll do that when I get there. So I put a tiny, as you can see, they're really tiny little magnets and really really thin too. And so this card here, I only glued as a pocket here. So there's a little paper envelope. This is paper paper studio. I got those at uh, Hobby Lobby as well. They were fifty percent off the other day when I went there, and I didn't put anything there because I don't want it to be too thick. So that's the, the cover of the first signature. <clears throat> this size here doesn't have anything. This is the envelope, so I just covered that here. And here I have to, I have to use some scraps because I had forgotten to uh, do the inside of the envelope, matting it. And I was really out of paper, so I just did uh, little uh, pockets so that they can use them to put a little something, and then it's an envelope here. And my sheets here, I dyed with coffee. I didn't have much coffee, so that's why it's not very much dyed, but uh, it's 
still doing the job and it's really crinkled, which I like. I didn't put anything in here because I wanted to have everything uh, just writing on them. This is the, uh, the flap of the envelope that's here. So I covered that one here and I made it a pocket because I glued only the, other, the two sides here. <clears throat> this is the inside cover of the first signature. And just so here I have a uh, two envelope file and I put a little card in it. And on the back here I put another belly band and another booklet here. This one opens like this, but I didn't want to put it here because I like this picture better, this uh, paper better. So I put it upside down. <laughs> Still goes in. So they're all made pretty much the same, except that this one here had the envelope on the top. This one is on the bottom because I didn't want to add too much. Uh, if you keep putting everything, like you're doing the same for every page and you put all, always the same place, you end up having very a lot of uh, quite a bit of bulk on one side and then not as much on the uh, the other side so that's why I decided to kind of alternate them <clears throat> especially those because they are thicker so this is a little card here hope you can see and that little envelope or a little bag it looks like little candy bags when I was younger put candies in those so this is this one here I have the uh, this is the, the envelope, so you have an envelope here. I put a tuck spot here because I didn't have enough paper, so I had to kind of patch this, so I made it as a tuck spot. And here you have the 12 sheets. It's six sheets, but with the two sides, it's 12 pages of signature. This is the pocket from that one. This is the back, inside of the back of the second signature. So again, little file, put this card in there. And this is the back of the second signature. Third signature, here again, same thing. Put the little bag in there. Here, I really like this paper, so I just left it blank like this. This is the envelope. Here, I did a pocket on this side, and you still have the envelope here. Six sheets. It's three sheets folded in two, so that's why I made my, my book this size, because I, I started up with just the size of what, this is five and a half by I mean eight and a half by eleven which I folded so eight and a half by five and a half so that's why I put my I made my book uh, eight um, nine uh, yeah nine by no it's nine this way by six yeah because I cut my twelve by twelve just in two so these are the signatures and then here you have again the uh, pocket and here again you have a little file and here I put two little books because I had one left over and I didn't know where to put it, and because we had birds there, we had birds there, so I decided to put it there. And the back is again a little belly band with the book. You can write stuff, put little photos in there. And then the back of the uh, the inside, the inside of the back cover, I just uh, used. I had kept this from cutting my papers just because of the the flowers, so I decided to put it here, make a a long side pocket. And again, here we have. This one is up white up like this. It's the same pretty much flower. I think it goes like this. But this is small and this is the bigger. So that's what it is. And this is the back. Hope you liked it. And uh, I'll be putting the tutorials uh, in a few weeks online on my ch YouTube channel. So you can check it out. And then uh, in the meantime, you can still make one. It's very easy. Like this is my first one, and I'm pretty pretty happy. I uh, <clears throat> I checked a tutorial uh, by uh, Rosa Kelly, she, but I didn't make it the exact same, but it's similar to hers, and uh, it helped me. I've watched a couple of videos of uh, journals, uh, I mean junk journals, and uh, I thought hers was really simple, and uh, so I decided to make one. So hope you liked it. And if you did, you can click on the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do so because of more tutorials and shares are coming in the next close future. And uh, then you get to be uh, <coughs> notified if you click on that little bell every time I have something that comes up so you can be aware and uh, watch it and have fun. So until next time, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Happy scrapping.